we will show you three things. First, how we built our CNC router, then how we set up the software and electrical, and how our first few cut cuts go. So let's get started. I'm Michael from Disposable Thumbs, and today we're going to start assembling our Stepcraft 840, and through the next week we will finish um, assembling it and make our first cuts. Okay, so on the quick start guide, there is a list of required tools. Um, so most of them you'll be able to have in your lab, but you do need to make sure you have an Allen wrench set with basically every size up to 10 mm. So they gave us a really nice inventory with a picture of every single part that is included with the man with or with the kit. Um, and we did have trouble finding some of these parts until we realized that there were parts in the back of the bag that came with all the stickers. There are self-adhesive parts in here that you need to make sure that you have. So we're ready to start our building of the Stepcraft 840 and in the manual the instructions look a lot like Lego instructions which is kind of cool because we're building this in the FLL lab <clears throat> and so the instructions are fairly straightforward. first stage from um, Z-axis. Um, and for FTC teams looking to do this, they should not be like afraid to do it because it's easier, it's easier than building a robot as the instructions are very easy to follow. And <clears throat> although two things you should be aware of is making sure you have the correct piece as some of the pieces are very similar, but using the inventory part in the front of the manual lets you easily be able to tell which is which. And you should all and you also need to make sure that you put the pieces in the correct orientation as if you don't you'll have to take stuff apart and put it back the correct way. Tim from Disposable Thumbs, and I'm here to pick up for, pick up for Michael, who worked on the Z axis last time. I'll be working on the X and Y axis, so let's get started. At this point, we've connected the Z axis to the X axis, and I just want to go over a few things that helped with this process. We bought these metric T handled Allen wrenches, which really increased um, our efficiency and our effectiveness when making the CNC router. Also, um, it's important to keep track of the wires. There's a lot of snaking that goes on with the wires. Like you have to snake the wire through here and then it doubles up in this tube and then eventually it's gonna triple up in this tube. So it's very important that you make sure the wires are getting routed through the tubes at the beginning so you don't have to go back and do it all again. What we did is we taped the wires together and pushed them through as one bundle so that we get them through faster. Today I worked on the 
X and Y axis for the CNC router um, and took about four hours and 20 minutes to do. Um, there's still about a half hour extra work that I have to do and adding the rest of the parts. Um, but we should be able to do that in the next practice and then start testing it in the next session. Hi, I'm Molly from the Supposable Thumbs and I'm going to continue working on our Stepcraft 840 CNC router by putting the final touches on it and installing the tool length sensor. So I thought I had like five minutes of work to do, but after I put the feet on the, the CNC router, I realized that the tray, the bottom trays were not where they were supposed to be in the grooves. So we had to take the machine apart and put the trays where they were supposed to be. So it ended up taking about 30 minutes and now we're pretty much to where we are, uh, where we were when I started. So now I'm going to put on the T-slot table. Okay, we finished the CNC router and we were putting while we were putting in the T-slot table, we had a few problems with these two sides being too close together. And so all we had to do was loosen these two screws on each side and they would, came apart enough to fit in the T-slot table. And now all that's left is to power it up and test it. Hi, I'm Tim from the Supposable Thumbs. Uh, today we continued working on the CNC router and I mounted the spindle um, to the Z-axis um, of the CNC router. I also aligned the, all the axes and to make sure we got free motion out of all of them, which involved tightening and loosening some screws um, and then tightening, re-tightening them once they got to the position they needed to be in. Right now I'm testing out the tool length sensor and that's that allows you to know exactly where the Z-axis is in relation to your piece. And we're just about to get started on our first cut. So. Once you have your tool length sensor all plugged in and you're ready to test the sensor, you can just hit this button and it will be ready to go. It was at first found like the rough um, position that it was in by going down fast and then it got a more fine position by going down slowly into the sensor. Now we're going to begin our first cut, um, which is the Stepcraft logo. Um, we've never cut anything before on the router, so this might be an epic fail, but we'll see how it goes.
Cut's done, and um, that wraps up uh, this video. Um, uh, in a week, three students were able to completely build the machine, set up the software and the electronics, and make a cut out of a pre-made logo. And so far, it seems like a really good buy, and it seems like it would be super useful to us and other teams and uh, people in the area. And we're really excited, and we think it was a really great buy.